Hey, what's going on guys and girls? I'm Colleague Phoenix here and welcome to episode number 10 of my Red Dead Redemption Let's Play series. So the last couple episodes I actually did episode 6 three times because I didn't change the title so I thought I hadn't done it yet. Which is very strange to think about that I completely forgot that I'd already done it, but I did. But I got them ordered right on YouTube. I just didn't have them titled right on my um, on my end. So I ended up actually uploading episode 8, which I thought was episode 6. But I had already recorded two other videos beforehand. When do we stop? When we reach Paris? Well, that'd be nice. Join the commune. We stop when we find someplace sensible. Shake them that's following us and lie low. This is lying low? It turned into a bunch of killers. I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. So, we moving? Yeah. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. Mm. Mike told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Charles, come with me. We got work to do. Sure. This can wait. Yep. We got more important business to attend to. Give our uh, old horsey a brush first. Yeah, it's a what good horsey. Horse. Shut the fuck up, Charles. I'm brushing and I'm feeding my horse. All right. Are we going then? Dewberry Creek, huh? Will you follow me? Is this Bill or something? Yep. Good morning. Good morning, Arthur. So where are we going? Find a new spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to. Fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made in Valentine. Uh mm, it didn't even mark an area for me. Fucking got bounties everywhere, man. I can't escape them. Killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwalls, man. They must know where we are by now. They'd have to know. There's no doubt. Or at least have a fair fucking idea. I mean they were within mere a mile from us. Wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. So where does it end? Where does what end? The moving, the running. Dutch don't see it as running. Call it what you want. I don't know. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the problem, eventually it went away. Well, we're in bounty territory here. This is a big country. Now, these Pinkertons, better paid bounty hunters. I ain't so sure. Now, hang on a second. Think that must be it up ahead, the old dried up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Looks like a terrible spot. Hey, 
I see something over there. Over where? Someone on the ground there. Oh shit. Watch out! Careful. He's been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. Now we're gonna get pinned for the murder or something. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? Shoot first, debate second. I'm not gonna shoot for the sake of it. Survival's for the sake of it. Hmm. Put the old Lancaster repeater out. Let's do it. <clears throat> look, here it is. A few tents, but place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure. Definitely empty, or up. Where is everybody? I don't know, but it's my food. Heard us come. Be careful. I'm being careful. Can I pick these up now? The hell? There we go. Sometimes it just doesn't detect you. I smell shit. They're hiding in a fucking carriage. Someone in there has to be. No? It's gonna. I, I bet you if I climb into the carriage or something, it fucking triggers something. If it will let me climb into the carriage, that is. What do you want me to do? Oh, search the crates. Okay. So that someone's gonna pop out of here then. It's okay. It's okay. Come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. Jesus. I bet you it was her husband who got shot. He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? It's German? No. Now go on, get out of here. Go, we need the land, go. Get the hell out of here. They took our father. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? It ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. Well, the girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. Oh, great. You got a problem with that horse? Huh. Yeah, I do. There. Tracks. Yours is in the way. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. God damn it. Doing everybody else's What's job for them. Every time. What do you mean? You were just going to send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons breathing down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well... Maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Wait, just let me make sure this is right. The only hoof marks I see is the one his horse is making. Okay, looks like they go down this way. Okay, we'll stop staring at the ground and let's mosey on. So, what happened with those Pinkertons anyway? 
When you were fishing with Jack, said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch in. <laughs> they picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then, if you ask me. Think this is the right way? Give me a second. God damn it. I probably went over the water. No. Continues along the shore here. What were you saying before? Bastards told me they killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. Uh, that kid. It's gonna be tough for him. Yeah. But he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. That's true. Jack's in pretty good hands in that way. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well. If it's John's idea, it must be a good one. Hey! Arthur, what is it with you and him? Oh... Uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was real. Hold up. Let me check this. God damn it, stop interrupting the story, you fuck. I hate that shit. He's having a nice beautiful chat and I'm enjoying the cutscene or the, the conversation, then it's just cuts off to Hang on, they let me just check this. this trail. So where was I? The Jack was real young. A long while. Year he did. We was family, you know. Guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. Okay. Whoa. Seems deserted. Let's take a look. It ain't always what it seems, though, dude. We're gonna get jumped and shot at. this guy I don't know but you know something this is a better camp spot than back there much easier to defend maybe I can't pull my gun out I've noticed there he is quick cut him free and let's get out of here Really? I like the first person version. Let me fucking shoot my horse, you fucking wanker. Please let me go. No shit, that's what we're doing. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. We can't carry any more of this item. So, return the settler to his family. Alright. I absolutely have to, I guess. Let me just loot some people first. Give me a minute, just gotta... Oh my god! I blew his mouth in! That's fucking brutal! Where did I hit this guy? Up, no, I don't know. Alright, 
No animation for that. No idea on that one either. Shot him right in the top of the dome. Alright, where's our horse? Over here. Come on, settler. Alright, come on. I'll take you back to your family. Was machen wir jetzt? Uh, is this on the right mark? I know it's not. That yeah, kind of is. Also soll ich mitkommen? I didn't see what he said then. Oh god, don't go off the trail. There's too many trees. I tried to stop the horse with R1, but I couldn't do it quick enough. The settler was attacked by nature. It's okay. Getting you out of here. Yep. Also soll ich mitkommen? He was attacked by nature itself. A brutal beast. Yeah. Wonder if riding in first person will make it easier for me, probably. Trees won't get in though. Be able to see me in my line of sight perfectly. Wo bringen Sie mich hin? What the hell did you do to those fellers? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld, money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. It, how did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? You're taking me to my family. Oh, thank you. How did they find you? Look, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. Yep. They didn't find us. We found them. To hold him ransom for money would be my assumption. There they are. Dem Herrgott sei Dank. Schatz! Ah! Andreas! Andreas! Ich hab gedacht, du seist tot! Nein, ist nicht dead. Wärst du gewesen? Meine Lieblinge! Meine Herz! Allerliebst! Oh, wie wunderbar! Oh! Sie sind ein großer Mann! Ja! Ein großer Mann! Ja, wirklich! Es ist ein Segen, dass wir sie getroffen haben! Come on, now get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Yeah, yeah, that's right. Vamos! I have something for you. One moment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A lot from the bottom of my heart. A gold bar? What is that, like 500 bucks or something? Lovely. Fucking awesome! I'll take a gold bar. Very long loading screen. You were right. Oh. Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, Again. I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. Oh, new chapter. Clemens Point. Been a while since we changed chapters. Been a long while. Few days later. So bright. Gold ingot. You've unlocked the bandit challenge. Check your log for more information. What could I have done better? Get five headshots. Complete with at least eighty percent accuracy. Complete the mission without taking any health items. Well, I didn't take any health items, did I? I guess dying counts. All right, Dutchie. What's going on, man? 
How you doing, old friend? <coughs> Fine. It's funny. Us in and up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me? We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's going to be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. What are we, we doing? It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fish. We're going fishing together? Oh, Papa, I never thought you'd allow me to fish again. Holy shit. Look at that rug. All right, come on, Dutch. Show us this crick you've been pissing in. Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good long over, Dutch. <laughs> Always dream crushing and bubble bursting, you. Come on, Hosea. Let's go fish. Come on, then. All right. I don't mind Hosea. He's a good dude. Dutch is clearly losing the plot a bit. Yeah. Catch you later, Sean. Peace. Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, it was us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again. Thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived. How well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. But we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. All right. I agree, Dutch. And we're not allowed to use weapons like or cause trouble in roads. Play it cool. Ah, oh, shit. You gonna tell me we they don't know who we are? Especially Dutch. Hello, gentlemen. Well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot of bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> well, well, look who it is. How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray, this is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It's good to meet you. 
You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool, but he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you. I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go right. to that train. Keep your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. Come on, hurry. I'm hurrying. Come on, we're losing them. We're, we're not. We're gaining on them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. Can't go any faster. Gonna make you sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. Come on, my thumb's getting sore. You dumb motherfucker. Oh, thank fuck. Get to the side of the train. Yeah. Keep us close to the train. See the flat carriage? Head for that. Get us as close as you can. Oh shit, I'm on the wrong side. You think you can jump on there? Oh yeah, I'm doing it now. Now he's throwing bombs. Do nothing. Why am I copping it? got a plan. I'm gonna run, sprint, tackle them. Beat the shit out of them. I'm not! I'm right behind him, you wank. Oh, okay. It wouldn't let me. to me, you bitch. Wait a minute. I need to see settings, controls. What's the grapple button? Uh, I want on foot. Tag target during dead eye. Attack cover grapple is what? I need on foot. Triangle is grapple. Alrighty then, I did not mean to push him off a moving train. Can I have my hat? Where you gonna run to? I'm gonna get him. I'm coming for you next. I'm gonna ride ahead and stop the train. It's just us then, lawman. Come here. You ain't need to bother. Let me go. Can't do that. He's cutting me up, man. Well, 
Oh, think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just about. Pick up Hat. Pick up the Anderson boy. I think he's fucking dead, dude. Bring him out here. Deputy. Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? You take him in. Come on. Mm. Fine job. Well done. Thank you. A pat on the back for me for stopping the train. There you go. You are a natural. Yeah, because this is what I want to do. Law enforcement. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. Yeah. Just give me more information, uh, Chief. I appreciate it. Left here. Why would we go left if there's a bear? Dun dun Dutch is asked gang to not use weapons or cause trouble in roads. Yeah, alright, 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 alright. I got it. Don't pull a weapon on anybody, don't punch anybody. I understand. I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Hello, horsey. Oh, this is Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. <coughs> Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Oh, good, they're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay, we're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Yep. Carry this idiot in, he's probably just dead. Mr. Gray, we got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here. Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How mm. terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come the back straightest and of the narrows. Soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. A bow? These better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. <laughs> where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan on the edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out rebel gold and marrying cousins or not marrying Arthur that's Jose you start poking around 
See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was <sighs> talk of super agents. Some sort. super agents. <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Hm. Lucky bastard. Lucky that we were around, really. Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea. You see what you can find out about these break weights. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Oh, no, I'll do it. I'll accept some sure, fishing. Oh, why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? Kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. All right. We'll just whistle for our horses and stand here. Oh, look at that. Come on now, boy. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. Like feckin' clockwork, mate. Oh my god, he just collided with that man. You right, Hosea? What the fuck? <laughs> Why'd you get off your horse? So how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel too. It's a good spot. Oh my god! <laughs> it's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching <laughs> criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local. Isaiah is crashing into horses left, right, and center, man. much farther anyway you two never told me properly about that business with cornwall in valentine what happened there apart from scaring the living daylights out of mr strauss that was about the only upside john and i didn't even have time to get paid for the sheep we rustled it is safe to say mr cornwall isn't a man to let bygones be bygones ambushed us in the saloon he came with a lot of guards. A shitload of guards. Just about every lawman in the county. We've had closer shaves, but not that many. And if Cornwall found us, the Pinkertons couldn't have been far behind. They found me when I was fishing with Jack, remember? Listen, it was good we moved when we did, but that mess is behind us now. Yes. Jack told me you were a good teacher when you took him fishing. I said he must have you confused with someone else. <laughs> funny as hell. Very funny. Tell you what, Jose, you are hilarious. So what Trelawney said about those bounty hunters? What you think? I told you, I've had bounty hunters after me for years. When was the last time I didn't have a price on my head? Seems a little bigger now, Dutch. Super agents. That's just Trelawney over-egging the pudding like the showman he is. Unless there's a new breed of special man I don't know about. So, do nothing? Not until I've thought it through. Interesting about those two families. We'll look into it. Good. Like I said when we set off. 
Just start turning the soil. Low profile. This is the spot. Down to the left there. Man, we went way the fuck around to get over here. I think it camps over on the peninsula over on the left. Once we get down here, you'll see it. It's like over there. I saw some boats Somewhere. around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Hey, those are the boats you mean? Yes. Good. Hmm. Oh. We're just going to actually go out on the boats. Really? They look... Like they've been sitting there a while. Nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. I'm sure nobody would mind till we get shot in the fucking head. Which will happen any minute now, the way I'm feeling. All right. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, no. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. Heave ho! Let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. Enjoy picking on children. Now take us to the deeper water and pray for... Okay, what's the controls for this then? It's probably like... stupid luck and good fish? That'll do too. Keep going. Oh, there we go, okay. Oh, well. I thought it was going to be like left and right stick and spin them around, but I guess not. I thought it was going to be a bit more complicated than what it is. I think here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. I want to quickly really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance. Yeah, right. And then hooking something big like a sturgeon. What's wrong with a good old All right. Oh, worms are Good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep Any... the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. All right. Slowly rotate R to attract fish and then press R2 when you feel a bite. I got a bite. Got a nibble there, Arthur. Ah, I should have had that one. Fish on the line, Arthur. Now I'm doing it. Try not to break my line. I think that's a bite. Got him? Stop struggling. Come on, I cast this out very far. Stop it. That feels like a bite. There we go. Shit, got away. Oh, I'm spinning this as fast as I can. And quickly reeling to make faster progress. Come on. Hey, look at this. Yeah. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fella told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of St. Denis. Hmm. 50 pounder, he reckon. <laughs> I would like to see that. Well done. Plus 20 to honor. Something's nibbling. Ha! Got ya! Hey, Jose. You remember that time? We sent Arthur out fishing. He came back with three beautiful bass. Not this again. I don't think I do. Oh, yeah. You do. 
He was maybe 20. 21, walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast, toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, So how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, Come on. grab someone, and buy some fish. Nice, you hooked him. Ah, you don't start struggling, you bastard. I was fishing with this fella back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We go out all the time. But one day, we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge, and out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> oh, there he yeah. is. <laughs> oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. Arthur's got a bite. What? Ah, oh, damn it. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed a lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost a puppy in him, right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we It's so close to me already. I don't have to do barely any like effort. The more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out. Okay, let's just keep it so we stop fucking the ferry job. Do this. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons have patrols out and all over tall trees and great plains. We saw Come on. we went back for Sean. I see you. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. You got a bite there, Arthur. Not really, hey. me and Arthur. Not bad, Arthur. Oh. Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I, uh, I only found out nice. from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Sorry. Of Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. All right. Let's throw another one out. See eye to eye. I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, I loved her in my own way. And she, me, in hers. <laughs> Somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. That's on the hook, Arthur. Oh, it is. You're getting the hang of this. I'm getting the hang of this. I've caught so many fucking fish. I've caught like five fish. Very sporting of you. We done? Hey, I reckon there we go. Day, Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All right. I think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat. Not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. There All right. Was fun. <laughs> Thank you, boys. Now, Hosea. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Oh God. All right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me. I said, girl, give me some. She says, wait till the taters is done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. I wish to God I'd faster by. 
I wish to God I'd passed her by. Taters got burned, and so did I. Mm. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. But you know, what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us. Three mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we be three poor mariners to we come from the sea. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round, round, round? Shall we go dance this round, round, round? And he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this round, 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 round. Oh, my God. We care not for the martial men that do our states disdain. But we care for the merchant men who do our state maintain. To them we dance this round, round, round. To them we dance this round, round, round. And he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this ground, a ground, a ground, a ground, a ground, a ground, a ground. The end bit is weird. Ah, oh, we'll just say it was shit. <laughs> we'll just say we had a shit time, we hated every minute of it. We're never going out again by ourselves because we hate each other. Alright, sounds good. Alright. I think I... Well, I mean, we... We're gonna be okay. I know. Oh, I always know. Whenever I got you two by my side, things are gonna be just fine. All right. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. All right. All right, enjoy that, Dutch. All right, you do that. I've got to go brush my horse. Apparently, from what I could see in the little screen. You know who else is available to person with scarlet medicine strawberry stables? What do you want? Don't be like that. Just a, just a few bucks. I'm short. Get lost. Or I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. Fucking hell, uncle. Always a complete wank stain. Hell yeah, let's give you a pat. Oh, it's a good horsey. You need another brush? More brushy brush? Yeah, it's a good horse, so. Very good horse. Alright. Awesome. Well, anyway, guys and girls, I think that is going to be the end of this episode. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more Red Dead Redemption 2 in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me, excuse me, on all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a lovely day. All right, poise.